Getting your hair done? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so um, you know I've been talking to you about my sick um, cow, Dakota. And so what we did is you saw me separate uh, the two calves and Dakota. She's sick, she's not doing very good. I just went ahead and pulled the trigger. I took the day off and I'm going to load her up with the two calves because they've never been worked before and we need, we're gonna go ahead and wean them. So we're gonna load these, them up and we are gonna take them to our vet up in Stratford, Doc Parsons, my buffalo guy, my bison guy. And um, so luckily I have help today. I have a sister DJ from Arm Family Homestead to help me. Everybody's working today. And um, so luckily I could get her to come, come help me. And so I'm gonna load them up and we're gonna go uh, see what's wrong with her and get her taken care of.
crazy, isn't it? Yeah. So today I learned what anaplasmosis is, um, which is something that attacks um, the red blood cells of, of, of what I understand any livestock animal, and it comes from horseflies. Well, we got the cow back, and we got the two bulls back, and um, we, got, we got in what we needed to get in. Um, it's, uh, I just felt like, you know, she, she started, looking pretty rough and um, I just felt like I needed to take her and so that's what that's what uh, we did so luckily enough you know it's it's during the day um, I had to take off work I just feel like um, she's too good of a cow and um, uh, we had to get her taken care of and I just don't want to risk it anymore um, we're sc still feeding her that antibiotics uh, mixing in her feed for but um, other than that you know, we took them up to Doc Parsons and we got them taken care of. So the cool thing is uh, we got to take the bulls and got to work them as well. And they got their first handling. And when I say work, um, you kind of saw that process a little bit of running through the squeeze chute and they're getting their first set of worming. They're getting their antibiotics and vaccinations um, to fight off any of that bad stuff going on inside of them uh, that they may pick up. So let me tell you a little bit about what I learned today. So what I did learn is there is a horse fly that carries um, something uh, that gets into the an animal system. It can be livestock, it could be deer in that case is my understanding. And uh, a horse fly bites them, ingests them, uh, you know whatever they're carrying it gets in a bison system in this case and um, it kills the red blood cells it attacks the red blood cells and so uh, the vaccinations that Dakota got today um, our cow um, was a bunch of antibiotics um, Doc Parsons put a bunch of antibiotics in her and um, we went ahead and wormed her got her taken care of and we're going to keep feeding her, uh, mixing in some of that antibiotics into her feed. And he said we should see some changes in her gaining some weight back in about two to three weeks. Um, so she's going to be singled out here with the two calves for a little bit um, because we're trying to start the weaning process with them as well. 
obviously won't work with her baby because he's still in here with her but that's okay um you know she should get better hopefully in about a month and then we'll be able to we'll be able to uh send her back out with the herd you can tell the herd is is staying really close and you know this is a tight-knit family and and they want to be around each other so they're staying really close but um you know some some learning today uh which is good you know this is part of the process it is is learning about these animals learning um you know you just can't just let these animals go and people don't understand that you think just you just let these bison go and 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 they'll take care of themselves well they do take care of themselves but you know like i've told you several times we're not on thousands of acres and even on the big ranches and the big private places that have bison they still gotta they still have to work them they still have to vaccinate them they vaccinate them once or twice a year so that these animals can thrive and um you know there is some you have to have some human intervention with these animals and we're trying to grow the population and obviously i want to have a healthy herd so that we can grow as well and so there's things like this that you have to do and today um i didn't want to risk it anymore and so we took dakota up there to get her taken care of and we got the process going with those two calves uh, getting their first set of worming and, and antibiotics um, so that uh, they're healthy and that's what we want and we want our herd to grow um, and, and it's all about learning we've got um, a, you know a horsefly a simple horsefly can cause problems like that and apparently it's only in this sort of area it's, it's everything from I-40, which runs right through the middle of Oklahoma, east and west, goes out to Amarillo and Fort Smith. And then um, he said east of I-35. Well, that's where we're located is east of I-35 and south of I-40. He said that's where um, some of this problems occur. And so um, that's, what, that's what we're dealing with. And this is part of raising animals. And it may not just be bison. It, it could be other animals as well. So... Uh, I hope you uh, have enjoyed the video. I know, um, you know, this is just part of it and you've got to deal with these things. And in any livestock industry, anytime you own animals, stuff may randomly happen and you got to get your animals taken care of. And so luckily I'm able to do that. My sister helped me out today and lucky um, my awesome sister DJ helped me out and she filmed a lot of it for me because it's really hard to film uh, when you're dealing with bison and you guys see me out in the pens with them and stuff all the time. But <clears throat> Uh, it's really helpful to have people like her and uh, she helped work them and you know she's used to working goats and and alpacas now so it's a little bit different when you're working with those animals so um, it's a, a new uh, something new for her today uh, I don't think she knew what she was getting into but it all went really smooth and we can't complain so uh, thank you guys for following um, herds hanging out together I hate having to put them in this pen alone by themselves but that gives us a chance for her to eat that feed. We can watch her and we can get some weight on those calves too as well because they're separated from the main herd. So there's some good things out of it and um, we're just gonna keep an eye on her, keep watching her and hopefully she, uh, she makes the turn in the right direction. So thank you guys, stay tuned with us and I appreciate all the, uh, the, the positive comments you guys leave. I, I really appreciate it and um, thank you to my sister for all of her help today. Thank you guys.